welcome you all my youtube channel mechanical guru 2020 myself professor gk chapaneri in today video we discuss prime mover so first we understand the definition of prime mover in simple way see this is the definition now this definition how to memorize lifetime let's see one example okay so this is the prime mover so here it is prime mover is a device so this is the device this device use natural sources like coal petroleum and other gases etc now these natural sources convert their energy into the mechanical energy prime mover so this is the simple definition or you can say other words useful work like soft power now here the petroleum this petroleum is a two words the first is a petra okay and second is oleum now here we understand the meaning of petra and oleum petra means rock or earth and oleum in simple oil so the meaning of petroleum is oil obtained from different rocks in the earth so this is the petroleum now we will go to the second part that is classification of prime mover generally prime mover is according to the energy sources this energy sources divide in a two categories the first is the thermal energy and second is a non thermal energy now first we understand the meaning of thermal the kinetic energy is associated with the random motion of the molecules of material or object we can say in other terms heat and heat energy now first we understand the thermal this thermal is further classified Generally divide in a five different categories. The first is the fuel, or we can say heat engine. Second, nuclear energy. Third, geothermal energy. Fourth one, bio energy. And the last one is direct solar energy. First, we understand the fuel heat engine. the heat engine or we can say an engine is a machine that turns the energy locked in a fuel into a force and motion or we can say other words of simple way engines work by burning the fuel to release the heat so these are the sometimes called as a heat engine now this heat engine is further classified there are kept two ways There are two categories. The first is the external combustion engine, and the second is internal combustion engine. Now, these external combustion engine is further classified, like steam engine, steam turbine, fuel cycle gas turbine, and the internal combustion engine is classified in IC engine, open cycle gas turbine. Now, we understand. external combustion engine see the external combustion engine means the fuel burns outside and away from the main bit of the engine where the force and motion are produced the simple example steam engine see here i will show you some video okay so this is the steam engine there are coals fire at one end that heats water to make steam so 
this is the external engine or we can say the steam engine now we understand internal combustion engine okay so internal combustion engine the fuels burn inside the cylinder that's why it's called the internal combustion engine now here i will show you example simple car engine there are sometimes like a four to six separate cylinders inside which gasoline is constantly burning with oxygen to release the heat energy let's see the example see this is the rc engine the four separate cylinders okay now next we understand the nuclear energy see in nuclear energy generally the heat is used to generate the steam that drives a steam turbine and connect it to the generator that produces the electricity see the image okay so here the steam and turbine is connected with the generator and this generator produces the electricity so this is the best example for the nuclear second geothermal energy the geothermal power plants are used in order to generate the electricity by the use of geothermal energy sometimes hot water or steam is extracted from the earth through a series of wells and feed the power plant this is the series of wells so in that produce the electricity next bioenergy bioenergy is a simple is a renewable energy is produced by the living organism see here you can easily understand is a renewable energy Yes, so this renewable energy we can use in the house or heating, etc., etc. And the last that is direct solar energy. It is the energy derived from a sun's heat and a light. It is an important source of renewable energy. The direct solar energy is used for water heating. Crystallization, drying, solar thermal energy. See the image. So here we can easily understand. Now we discuss the non-thermal energy. So first we understand the meaning of non-thermal. The non-thermal means simple, not produced by heat specifically. We call it non-thermal. This non-thermal energy is divided into three different categories. The first is the hydro energy or hydro power plant. Second is the tidal energy. The last one is wind energy. Now we understand one by one the hydro energy. It is electrical energy produced through the power of moving water. See the video. See here the electricity produced through the power of moving water. So here the water is moving. Second, tidal energy. It is produced by the surge of ocean waters. During the rise and fall of tides, let's see. And the last one is wind energy. It is used to produce electricity using the kinetic energy is created by air in a motion. Okay, so this is the wind energy. In that, electricity produced using the kinetic energy. This kind of energy is created by air in a motion. 
So this is the green color. Thank you for watching my video. For any query or suggestion, you can follow me on 